What happened to Madeleine McCann? Suspect Christian Bruckner Evidence Update Episode 5 After weeks of believing the main suspect, Christian Bruckner may be released from prison, police have confirmed he will not be released early, as they have new evidence in Madeleine McCann's disappearance from Praia de Luz, Portugal, in 2007. The new evidence links the suspect in the vicinity of the resort, just moments before Madeleine vanished. New details continue to emerge and the evidence potentially linking Christian Bruckner to the case is being discussed by the lead investigator. According to N's E Herald, a 30-minute phone call that Christian Bruckner made an hour before Madeleine's disappearance is an essential part of a renewed police probe. As mentioned by the publication, the phone call was made to a phone registered by a man known as Diogo Silva. This has since been traced. Christian Bruckner began the call at 7.32 p.m. and finished the conversation at 8.02 p.m. on 3rd of May 2007. In the same night, Madeline disappeared between 9.10 p.m. and 10 p.m. We still don't know the reason behind the phone call, however the police are attempting to get new details surrounding the content of the conversation. Prosecutor Hans Walters told the TV host, during the Australian edition of 60 Minutes, that investigators believe now that Christian Bruckner can be placed at the scene of Madeline's disappearance. There are so many facts that, that, that she's dead, so that there's no um, opportunity, yeah, opportunity uh, that she's still living. The case against the new suspect Christian B is circumstantial. He's a convicted child sex abuser. He lived along Portugal's Algarve coast for 12 years. Numerous other cases have since been linked to Christian Bruckner since German police confirmed him as a suspect in Madeleine's case earlier this month. It might have been suggested that is believed the sex offender might be a serial killer, however these are mere speculations. But it is highly likely there are many more victims of sex crimes committed by Christian Bruckner. The German prosecutor strongly believes Madeleine McCann is dead. Even if they don't have a body or body parts, they have strong evidence to suggest Madeline is dead and Christian Bruckner killed her. Detectives confirmed they unearthed 8,000 pieces of potential evidence, which was buried by the main suspect at an abandoned German box factory owned by Christian Bruckner. Six USB sticks and hard drives were found buried underneath the body of his dog, wrapped in plastic. These contain pictures and videos of suspected crimes and also images of the suspect himself wearing stockings, performing solo sexual acts in front of the camera as well as others too graphic to describe here. All this evidence was found on Bruckner's own property alongside children's swimwear and clothes, in the RV found on the property. The new evidence was discovered when, as part of a separate investigation into missing Inga Jarek, who disappeared in 2015 during a picnic with her parents, lead the investigators to the box factory, a derelict building where Christian Bruckner used to hang with his RV. Christian Bruckner had a bizarre behavior when he lived in Portugal. When he was drunk, his tongue was loose so always said he got in everywhere and stole cameras. In order to not be recognized where there were cameras, he would take off his clothes and wear diving goggles. A documentary broadcast by Spiegel TV revealed this by Christian Bruckner's pal, only known as Bjorn R. Just last week, a former ambulance driver who met Christian and saw the RV, said a few things that Bruckner mentioned to him at the time. The suspect told the driver he can transport children in the RV space. Drugs and children can easily be transported in the space in the van. Nobody can find them and nobody can catch you. Those who have spent time with Bruckner of the years after Madeline's disappearance have revealed he would freak out when the girl's name was mentioned, but also that he'd been obsessed with the dark web. Theories have floated around over the years, including that he could have been assisted by a crooked hotel worker. Christian Bruckner continues to be uncooperative with the investigation. He recently issued a statement through his lawyer about his innocence. After Madeline's disappearance, Christian left Portugal to move back to Germany where he opened a kiosk very close to a kindergarten and junior school. The kids would spend their money on sweets at the kiosk. Bruckner would also give them lollies for free. 
We have some evidence that the suspect has done the deed, but we need more information from people, places he has lived, so we can target these places specially and search there for Madeline. In 2013, police found audio of who they believed to be Christian Broken talking about his sexual fantasies in a pedophile chat room. He is alleged to have said, I will document exactly how they will be tortured. He's also been telling his friends he would very much like to turn the box factory into a dungeon where he could hold and torture individuals. Crime analyst, Mark Hoffman, who works with German police, said that Christian Bruckner's criminal past means he is a very credible suspect in Madeline's case. The first point is, he was there. And with most offenders it's all about power and control. They like to do it in environments which are their comfort zone. They are doing what they do near the places they live. His ex-lawyer, Seraphine Vieira has said he does have psychopathic traits and he could very well be responsible for Madeline's abduction. However the sex offender has not yet been charged with anything related to Madeline McCann case, despite the German police saying they have concrete evidence. My theory is that Christian Bruckner sold Madeline to a sex ring outside of Portugal, hence the phone conversation shortly before she vanished. Perhaps Bruckner was trying to arrange the exchange. In my opinion, the girl has gone to another country as part of the sex ring sale, she was probably groomed since she was little and I strongly believe she is alive but she has no idea who she is. Even if she realizes she is forced to stay where she is, and let's say she will escape, she probably has no idea there's an international investigation into her disappearance. She must have been told when she was younger her parents passed away or they left her, she is probably even known by a different name. She is probably being held somewhere away from the media and the world around her. This is strictly my opinion. What do you guys think happened to Madeline? Is she truly dead? Is she alive but has no idea who she is? Please tell me your view on this case in the comments below. Thank you for watching.